Hey there friends, on today's video, we are going to be setting up this Kroger Health Pro glucose monitor. It's actually really easy. Let's get it going. Okay, so to begin the setup process for our Health Pro glucose monitor, what we're going to need to do is first hold down the power button for three seconds. So there's three seconds right there, and you can see it turns on. And basically we wanna go into the user mode. So we can use one of the arrows here and either go into on or off. We wanna be in the on mode, meaning we can manipulate the user input data. So I'm gonna hit the power button again. And now we're gonna go into the year. So as you can see, this is on 2012. I need the, this to be on 2021. So I'm just gonna use that up arrow until it reaches 2021. Hit the power button again, just really quickly. And now we're going into the month, day, and time. So for the month, uh, we are currently in October. So I'm gonna do uh, 10 there. And then hit the power button again. Uh, day, we are on the 25th of the month. So I'm gonna hit the power button again. It's gonna go over to the time. And again, this is super important because you do want to use the tracking that this comes with, 365 days of tracking internally on this, but you have to have the right times set up or it won't match your data when you take the test. It's currently 1118, so let's go at 11. I'm gonna hit the power button again, go over to the minutes, and we'll go up, and I'm just gonna round it up here to 19. There we go, hit the power button again. And now we're going into the specific test units. Now, again, if you're in the US, the MG-DL, it currently is showing over there, is correct. So I'm gonna hit the power button there. All right, now we're going into temperature. Uh, this is gonna be in uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. So we can come up here if we wanna go to Fahrenheit. I'm gonna keep it there, hit the power button again. So now we come to the averages. And what we can do is we can look at the averaging for the amount of days. So I wanna see what my average is for seven days. If you just wanna do it for a single day, you can do that. Um, again, it'll go all the way up to 99 days. So I wanna keep it on seven days, that's a single week. Again, this is something you need to consult for yourself and with your doctor. Uh, let's hit the power button. This is gonna be our second averaging. Again, this is looking for two weeks for us. Uh, that looks great, and get the power button. This is gonna be our third averaging, so that's three weeks. And next we're gonna to come to the alarm. So this is, again, just a little alarm that will go off on this Health Pro reminding you to take your measurements. Uh, you can go hit the down arrow and it'll go on, and then you can set the time. I'm actually gonna keep this to off because we don't want this alarm sounding. I'm just gonna be doing this every once in a while. And then it goes back into your default stage and turns off. So there you go, friends, that is the setup process. Uh, now when we insert a strip, it should automatically come up with the date and time. It'll record that specific date and time so you can access it in the future. I hope that helps. Stay tuned. We're actually going to make a few more tutorials on this little health pro, how to use it, how to read the data, all that good stuff. So subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if this has helped, and we'll see you again on the next one.